Hey, bye, Thomas here. It's been a little while since I've done an intro video to the YouTube channel, so here we are. A lot of things have changed. First and foremost, I want to say thank you for coming to check out the channel. I'm going to give you a little history of what uh, the channel is all about, uh, what's changed here recently, and then what we're looking to do uh, going forward. First things first, um, we moved from Southern Mississippi to here to Wisconsin. That's a pretty big change. And why did we move, you ask? Well, we moved because I'm in the Navy. I've uh, been in Navy for a number of years now and absolutely love my job. I'm an engineering duty officer uh, working currently in the uh, ship construction world. Shipbuilding is very hard. It's a very challenging job, but I love it nonetheless. And I've been very blessed to be the PMR of the LCS program up here in Marinette and working with the uh, fine shipbuilders up here and putting out uh, ships to the Navy. And it's really cool because we're building ships here in Wisconsin and then we sail them through all like the St. Lawrence Seaway and the Great Lakes and such out to the ocean. So it's pretty cool. People are like, how do you build ships there? Well, if you look at the Great Lakes, there's a network of locks and everything, it does connect out. So again, really cool, love my job. Um, and moving up here though, I'll say it was a, it was a big shock to the family. Um, in Mississippi, we had a little farm down there. Kids loved it out there, but it was a very warm area moving up here, as you can assume. And right now, it's cold. It's in the 30s right now, but I've kind of acclimated to this uh, way of life thus far. We have a lot of snow on the ground, but we are officially into spring. It is now March 24th of 2023, and uh, there is a bit of spring in the air, which is very nice. But I will say we have absolutely enjoyed our first winter up here. Prior to living here, I've never experienced negative temperatures. I've experienced some negative temperatures now. I can say I'm, uh, I'm an expert at that. <laughs> uh, the coldest I've experienced actual temperature was negative 12. It was a negative 36 wind chill. So that was an experience. Um, the weirdest thing is when your nose hairs freeze, that's a weird feeling. It's like, like you got little sticks in your nose. It's just like, what is this in my nose? It's, I don't know, it's, it's interesting. But we have some great neighbors here in the area who've helped us embrace the area. If you live in an area such as this or any area you live, you got to embrace the outdoors. And up here, the culture, they really embrace the outdoors and they embrace the four seasons that they have, or two seasons. Um, the winter time up here, we've got to do snowmobiling, we've got to do uh, ice fishing. I actually got really big into ice fishing this year. I'm not really good at it yet, but I've really enjoyed it. My kids uh, have had a good time out there, but usually they can only handle two hours. <laughs> When it's really cold, that's about all I get out of them. Um, but for next year, we're ready. I've learned a lot to prepare for next year, so that's going to be some stuff we're talking about on the channel this year. Um, prior to it you know, getting frozen up here, we also did a lot of kayaking and the fishing. It's great. Absolutely love it up here. Looking forward to the walleye run here next month. So again, uh, the, the biggest thing was the move up here to Wisconsin, and we've absolutely loved it up here. The other big thing that's changed is my sawmill. The last time I did the intro video, I had my 2000 sawmill. And I'm a little bit biased here. I, I've owned a, a number of sawmills. We've had eight sawmills between my dad and I over the years and from four different manufacturers. And in my opinion, the best sawmill you can get is a Timber King 2000 or a Timber King 2020 with a diesel. That is the best. You're not gonna change my mind. I've owned a lot of sawmills. We actually own, we have a Timber King 2022, the next size up from this. I would still take this sawmill over that one. This is, in my opinion, the best sawmill. It is the workhorse of the Timber King fleet, and it's just the best sawmill that's out there, hands down. There's no way, no other way around that. Also, I'm going to say I'm not sponsored by anybody. I do this of my own free accord and everything. I've tried to get sponsorship. It doesn't really work, but, you know, this, I'm not sponsored by anyone, and really, I don't care at this point. It's, it's more about... I want to make sure I'm putting good content out there for people and I'm not swayed one way or the other. Now, I do have people who send me stuff to test, but again, I'm not on their payroll. I'm not getting free stuff all the time from them. But uh, the fine folks from SE Metals, from ICT, and from Kennesaw Blades, they have sent me uh, some great stuff to test out. Also, the folks from BioLube. And I do appreciate that and I enjoy doing those videos because I'm putting products out there that could maybe help some people out there better cut quality, uh, different options for lubrication. Maybe it's a, a better price on your blades. One of the things I see a lot of people do is they buy blades from the manufacturer of the sawmill company they got. There's a bit of a markup on those, and I'm not saying that's wrong or not, and, and you're gonna make sure you get the right size blade and everything, 
But if you know how to measure your blade and everything, there are other companies out there, the blade distributors, who have great products out there. And there's a whole world of different types of blades. There's sizes, there's hook angles, there's thicknesses, there's all sorts of different things out there you can try and find what best suits your needs. Um, so that's what I try to do. I do videos kind of associated with anything sawmill related. I like to do videos where I'm just cutting wood, but I also like to show there are other products out there that you can try out. Um, and maybe, maybe it'll help someone out there to find something that they, they enjoy a little bit better. Another thing that we do on this YouTube channel is we do a lot of videos with my dear friend and father figure, uh, Robert Westfall. Robert Westfall, if you're watching this, you're awesome. I mean, I love you like a father. The man is a wealth of information. He's run sawmills for many a years. I think he started running sawmills back in the mid 90s or something like that. But really where he shines, where his expertise is, um, is he is the master setter and sharpener of saw blades. He's been doing it long enough. I mean, hopefully he's, he's learned something over the years. <laughs> he has, the man has a wealth of information. But uh, I've learned so much from him and his son and others like him uh, throughout this channel. But Robert has done a lot of videos with me where we've put out information, especially on the cat claw sharpener, the cat claw dual tooth setter, and now more recently the wooden miser BSM 250, I'll say it right this time. <laughs> but anyways, um, wealth of information, he's been very pivotal, 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 yes, in my YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, words. <laughs> so yeah, again, this channel is about sharing information. The other thing I do is I like to go around and do videos at other people's places, not just all my stuff, because this can get boring and I do talk a lot. You probably realize I like to talk a lot. I'm very extroverted, but I like to share my knowledge. When I figure out what I want to be when I grow up, I actually already know. I want to go to Tennessee. It's the best damn state in the world. And I want to just play on my sawmill, cut wood, and just, you know, live out in the country. That's what I want to do. But before I get there, I, I want to make sure I put out a lot of information to folks. So I go around and we look at other different operations through our searching for sawmill videos and everything, whether it's circle saw, swing blades, you know, wooden miser, cooks, whatever. We've owned a lot of different sawmills. I've operated a lot of different sawmills. All sawmills are great. If they cut wood, that's great. I'm a fan of them. I don't care what kind of sawmill you have, but my opinion is this is the best. But uh, nonetheless, I love all sawmills and I love talking to Sawyers. Um, anyone who likes working with wood, building with wood, cutting wood, uh, logging, whatever, you're okay in my book. <clears throat> so again, the channel's about networking. We try to do two sawmill shows a year. We've been very success successful in those shows uh, because we get to meet people. Again, not sponsored. I like to put these shows on so that we can increase knowledge in the local area. But the way I do these shows is I usually do one in the area I live and one in the area where I call home, and Tennessee's where I call home. So I have done three shows in Tennessee thus far. We've done two shows down in Mississippi. Uh, looking to do a show here in Wisconsin, probably, I'm gonna say probably like the June time frame. I, I'm gonna shoot for sometime in June that we do a song will show up here in Wisconsin. More to follow on that. But again, I like to go out to other people's places as well and shoot videos and help support anyone who is a that owns a sawmill. If you have a sawmill business and you're in the area, like I said, I'd love to come out and shoot videos at your place and help promote you. Also, for anyone who has a sharpening business, sharpeners, we need more sharpeners out there. There's a lot of people who are getting into the sawmill business and everything. Um, they're running their blades maybe one time. Well, you can run your blades more than one time. You can now with this new wooden miser sharpener, I don't know how many times we can sharpen a blade. It's going to be quite a few times. So looking forward to stuff like that. But again, this channel is about sharing knowledge, uh, networking with people, and making sure that we're all having a good time. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or anything, please let me know. Again, thank you for checking out this channel. If you like what you see or hear, go ahead and give us a subscription if you would or, or a like. And then, uh, yeah. Hope we'll can, I'll keep on putting these videos out there. Even if I don't get any, I'm still going to do these videos regardless. I just, I want to share the knowledge that I have. Well, I'm not a master at anything, but I think I've got a, a decent uh, head on my shoulders and can think through things, th thinks things through. Can't say things, but I can think things through um, and put some good information out there for you. So again, we'll see you around. If you have any questions or comments, please write them in the description below and hope you enjoy the channel. Thanks.